Hey y'all, welcome back to Mike's Place. It's been a few weeks actually. So why so long? Well, I've been putting together a new space in the basement that is my little speakeasy, tiny man cave, uh, private tasting bar. And while it's not complete yet, I have a lot of shelving to put up and get rid of this ugly bookcase. Um, it's getting pretty close. So when it's done, I will provide a tour uh, via video um, and if you know me personally maybe you'll come over and have a cocktail with me regardless today we have a new one um, this one is a new pick by the Rack House and St. Louis Bourbon Society and it is Old Elk Weeded Bourbon <laughs> So what is Old Elk Distillery? It's a newer one, um, founded in 2013 by Kurt Richardson in Fort Collins, Colorado. And I think Kurt's best known for his company called Otterbox. And he's one of those guys who just thought, well, you know, I see craft whiskey is becoming a thing and I really like whiskey and I'd like to try my hand at doing this. So he got some talent, uh, Greg Metz, who used to work for MGP, I think, good grief, uh, 14 plus years, and then Seagram's before that, and I think Greg has about 40 years experience um, in the industry. You know, he was, uh, so Kurt didn't just do this on a lark, he actually got talent, and they also made their own distillate and sat on it, let it age, and typically their bourbons are about five years that I've found online and that I've had a person this pick is 114.6 proof. It is a weeded bourbon. So um, let's pour a little bit, give it a shot, and see what we think. Now, like all weeded bourbons, Old Elk has 51% uh, corn. To be a bourbon, it has to have 51% corn. But then the mash bill, they can add wheat to uh, to it and make it a four grain mash bill, or they can take the rye out altogether, which is the case with Old Elk. So it's 51 corn, uh, 45 wheat, and 4% malted barley, if I'm correct. Of course, if you guys find out I'm wrong, feel free to correct me, I don't mind. So with this weeder, and I do love weeder bourbon, if you like Weller, uh, you're a weeder bourbon fan. If you like Maker's Mark, I especially love the Maker's Mark cast strength releases. We had a couple recently that were stellar. The weeded bourbons tend to be softer, a little sweeter. Um, they drink a little softer on the palate and the finish. Um, they aren't as harsh. So um, I'm expecting with this one that I'll get some sweetness, uh, some sweet oak grain, a nice finish. But you know what? I haven't had Old Elk weeded bourbon ever. So it's a first for me. And let's go in. Oh man, nose is nice. <laughs> A little punchy at first, which you know, at 115 proof, about one expects some heat, some ethanol. We'll blow some off. Yeah, it's got a nuttiness. I like that. Almost like um, when you open a can of honey roasted peanuts, it's got that kind of a, a nutty, sweet honey nose. Oh, it's nice. It's bold, but not bold in a negative way. Bold in a sweet, weeded bourbon way. So that's a that's a big plus right there. Let's go in for a taste. Wow. That I don't. See, it is a peanut. Peanut's more of a flavor I associate with Jim Beam products. Uh, some Heaven Hill uh, bourbons have a 
strong peanut nose and flavor. This is a peanut. It is a nut. Almost like a cashew or a macadamia nut. Lots of vanilla coming off this one. Palette is delightful. Um, it is, like I said, honey. I'm gonna go with cashew, uh, sort of that softer, creamier nut or macadamia, and then loads of honey, uh, and then followed with more vanilla, powerful vanilla flavors on this one. And there's some oak spice that is right in the back of the palette. On the finish. The dreaded word of the bourbon world, it is smooth, and I'm okay with that. Um, it's a little bit of heat right here, but it really does drink below its proof point. If I drink this blind, I would think it was probably 100. 98, 102, somewhere on 100 proof, I would guess, but at 115, just about this is a mellow pour. Really nice, um, exceptional. Now, of course, my rating scale has always been a, a Likert scale of zero, one, or two. Zero means a fault or it's missing something. A two is exceptional. A one is the expected flavor. The nose is a two for sure. The palate's a two for me. And then on the finish, a one, but it's expected. So a five out of six, which for me is a must buy. Um, this is at the Rack House in Cottleville for sale. We are releasing this to tier one members today, I believe, and uh, then tier two and three the next consecutive days. And there's a nice discount involved, 10% uh, off. So uh, for this one, uh, you jump on it if you like the weeded bourbons. And if you aren't sure, I would say go to Rack House, uh, belly up to the bar, order a burger. They have fantastic burgers there. And then order a pour of this and see if you like it. So guys, thanks for joining me. Good to see you and take care. See you soon.